We're here at Geneva's International Conference Center to find out more about a new initiative launched during the World Radio Communication Conference, a huge international treaty making event that allocates the radio frequency spectrum on which all the world's wireless devices depend. The new initiative is called We Lead and it's all about helping young women taking part in the conference as members of national delegations gain the experience and confidence they need to advance their careers and become future leaders. There are almost 4,000 delegates from over 150 countries at the event, but only around 15% of them are women. That's why the US delegation decided to launch a mentoring program for younger women to benefit from the experience of their older sisters. The We Lead program is open to all women at the conference, as well as ITU staff. It matches experienced women who are used to complex international treaty negotiations with young professionals who benefit from guidance from their We Lead mentor, as well as the support of the 50 strong We Lead community. We Lead is an initiative to bring together uh, women delegates that are here at the WRC to help them begin to have a network, share experiences, uh, and learn from each other. And so it's basically a program so that women can come in and into a pipeline so that they can become leaders and they can be trained into becoming chairs of drafting groups and then committees and subcommittees and all that kind of thing because we see very few women in those positions. I think we have one woman who is a chair here at this as a committee chair, but there are others that, that would certainly be qualified, but it's very hard to get them into the pipeline, so that's what it's for. So what are you hoping to achieve uh, through this program? We are trying to get to know the senior and experienced woman and uh, we want to know their what they do to get to their position. So I'm trying to get knowledge from them and also confidence on starting to participate more on, this, on these meetings. What does it mean to you to be part of this program? The Wheelie program, to me, is a sense of community. When you walk down the halls and you see the women, uh, you're often greeted with a smile and you know that you can approach them if you have any questions or uh, comments that you don't understand something or you want to know is it always done this way. I think this program is critical because um, at this point women are still very much a minority in the ITU process. Just looking around this conference there's only about 15 percent women here and really being able to learn from other women on how to how to, ha how to be successful in this environment, whether it's as a spokesperson, an active member of a delegation, or taking more of a leadership role. And, and I think you know, the experience that I've gained here over the years really helps me provide that input to, to younger women so that they can ex excel. What one key piece of advice would you give to new participants today? Learn, listen, have your voice heard because you are great professionals and you can contribute to this wonderful uh, technology ICTs that are the oil that make the motor of economic and social development work. We have too much to do and we can contribute to that. From the start when I came to these meetings I would sometimes be the only woman and now we're seeing more and more women but still we are very few at higher levels. You're the first and only woman chair of WRC back in 2003. What key piece of advice would you give to women in the sector today? I think the first thing women have to do is get an education in science and technology. Once they have the right education and background, they can find a career in telecommunications. This is a very lucrative, interesting career. And getting engaged at the international level so that we can increase the representation of women in WRC. The We Lead program is a great initiative. Uh, we would like to see it be continued. Uh, we're looking towards the ITU Council as well as the WTSA next year. The We Lead mentoring initiative at this WRC 15 is a great way of boosting the involvement of women in the important work of ITU.